Hello everyone and welcome back to part 7 of the Dirt 5 Let's Play and jumping straight back into it I think we're going to go with the icebreaker event instead I did mention that I was going to do the sprint I believe in the last part it, it, it's been a few hours since then it's a new day um, but we're going to jump into the icebreaker and what are we going to use? I'm going to get the lance here can't go wrong not too sure if I even want that design on it you know I'm kind of happy with just the basic green yeah we're gonna keep it basic. Oh, we've got five laps this time as well. All right. All right, what's this dude doing? Sliding all over, come on. Man, we've, we've already done, we've already done two, almost done three of them off, off the first corner. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> there we go, right. All the objectives are already done and we're 30 seconds into the first lap. Things you love to see. Right, so we have actually already done this event. I didn't realize um, what it was. I should have probably looked at the track name first, but we already did this with the Subaru not too long ago. I can't remember what part it was we actually did it. Probably the part before this one. To what I've noticed so far, the Lancia is very fun to drive, so I definitely recommend picking it up. If you're 50-50 on choosing a car for these kind of events, I definitely recommend picking up the Lancia when given a choice. It is fantastic, as we all know. The sound of it as well, man. Oh, you've absolutely nailed the sounds of the cars in this game. I think we're gonna beat it. I think, I don't know. 5.56. Yeah, look at that, 57.4. And there we go, icebreaker event done. So we've already seen that one before. I actually really enjoyed that course, to be honest. So when you guys get onto it, if you pick up the game, I feel like you'll like it too. Up next, we've got a ultra cross event in Italy again. We can use the Lance here again as well. We've got quite a lot of cash, so I could buy, I could buy the uh, RS Cosworth. We got anything? Ah, oh, we haven't got anything for it. We've actually got a new pattern in the library editor. Um, I know it's been popping up all the time, but we're going to quickly mess around with this, put some stuff on it, and we shall be back. And there we go. The design is done. Took me a bit of time. Uh, I'm kind of just messing around, seeing what we've got available. Um, but yeah, you can really kind of go all out with the uh, design features of the car. Like you can change the patterns, the texture, everything. So I'll be making a more in-depth video. Um, at some point on the channel kind of going over everything that you need to know about Dirt 5 and I'll hopefully have that up for launch day but I can't guarantee it but I will have it up at some point once I've played throughout the entire game and know a lot more about it. All right, off we go. All of the objectives seem to be good as well, which is in our favor. Finally got a good roll. And I've crashed into a rock already. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> oh, oh my. Okay, see you later, mate. Right around we go. Right, I think this time we've got the longer version of the course. I can see that we actually get to go across the bridge by the looks of it. So, yeah, I'll try and keep the first lap in as much as I can. And then probably, like, cut between the two. Oh, yeah, we don't go up that way this time. Or was it this way we went last time? Obviously, I've only done this course once. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm having flashbacks, but I can't remember if I've gone up this route. I don't think we have, because by the looks of it, this is going to the... Bridge, yeah, okay. Right. God, you can really get some speed on this. 
Oh man, here we go. Oh, right, do not crash into the wall. Uh. Oh man, okay. So, for anyone that does this track, do not go full pelt through there. If you can, fair enough to you, but I wouldn't risk it. I, I feel like if you do that, it's gonna end one way and it will be inside the wall. I'm absolutely loving buying loads of new cars as well. Like it's good that the cash flow is decent for the career mode or just in general in the game. One of the main obviously things about racing games is trying out all the different vehicles instead of just sticking with like one or two. That is an option you can do if you don't want to spend your money, but you may as well. You get so much of it, you may as well splash out. Right, I am tempted. Oh, should we do it? Right, I was going to, but we are on pace to hopefully get our fastest lap. So, yeah, I didn't want to didn't want to risk it. And there we go. We should get like a 127, almost probably 128 actually. Yeah. So, but I got to continue with this line of question. I got to stay on topic mm -hmm. for a little longer. We've seen time and time again, the champ that gets beaten out of nowhere. Now, I want to know what makes you so confident after the closest fought race of your career that this new kid isn't going to beat you. Close it means nothing to me. It's, you know, it's, it's not, I, I, like I said before, it's the first car across the line. It, it, it wasn't that close. I mean, to the amateur eye, maybe, but you don't understand that sometimes you want to, you take different tacks and different, different races. So in this one, I chose to sit back for 80% or whatever stupid percentage you decide to come up with. I chose to sit back. I draft. I wait for my moment. And then I strike. And there it was. There was the opening. Now, he tried to, he tried to come in. He created a little contact on my car. That's fine. Oh. I just hit. I hit what I had to he do. He created contact I got the on line. your car. Huh? I, I, I had the faster car. I had the better line. And he made a little made a little error. I took advantage of it. And then, of course, I, I raised the trophy and had a great night's sleep. Okay, so, but this new this new contender has been under the guidance of Been AJ. under the guidance of the guy I beat. I mean, what's okay, your, great, the, the great. The kid has a lot of accomplishments so far. The I mean, what, what is your take on that? Well, he, you know what? You know what he can do? Uh, I heard his podcast. He can teach how to lose to me. Right? Because uh, who knows better? Who knows better? Okay. Okay, Bruno, you can't deny that they're doing well. All right? Yeah. <sighs> You know what? I haven't seen anything worth paying any attention to. Okay, well, since you haven't been paying attention, I'm going to let you know that they've been doing very, very well. And you can't deny that. And I know you've been paying attention. That's what you do. You're very calculated. What and shark. we ran a poll on Donut Media, and we asked who the people would like to see oh, you race people. against. And what did the, the people event? say? Let me guess. The people. People said, Donut? No surprise. They're, they're the only person you're pushing right now. And why? Why? Because <laughs> this is what you guys do. Race against me makes everyone richer, okay? And there's no better options. Or, okay, we think that they are up to the challenge and could just maybe possibly be the one to get that zero losses off your race card. Now, we all know that AJ has sent them after you like a cyborg from the future. Yeah, of course. Of course he did. Because, you know, you get your name associated with me. And everybody uh, gets a nice payday, right? All gets right. to go buy a fancy new uh, jacket. All right, Bruno, I don't think we like you being in here any yeah. more than you like being in here. So let's oh, just get man. down to it. It worked last time. I've been poking you. Are you going to challenge this newcomer? You know, my answer is the same as it was that when this tired conversation came up about AJ. And look what happened there. I retired somebody, okay? I think that's very clever, but uh, I still don't hear an answer. No comment? No, not no comment. I'm, I'm just not interested. What more do you want? Okay, I'm getting uh, the light. It's time to pay for this studio and get a little richer. We're going to take care of some sponsorship stuff. We'll be right back. Uh -huh, classic sponsorship right there. So it looks like we are going to be racing Bruno very soon. I don't know if it will be at the end of this. I'd imagine it will be in Chapter 5. Only makes sense. But for now, we shall continue with a Stampede event. We've got a Formula off-road vehicle again. And then we'll end it off with another ultra cross. We've done quite a few ultra crosses recently, haven't we? Uh, which is fine. They're pretty fun. Uh, but anyway, we'll continue on right now. To get to that point where we will see a lot of the same uh, events and tracks, obviously. Um, I recognise this one already. And if any of you have been following the playthrough, you'll know the flashback that I had on the top corner up here. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at, look at the traffic on this. Come on. Let's get round. Man, this is going to be hard, just trying to get in front of everyone. Come on. Let's get our way up to first. We're in fifth, sixth. Drop down to tenth. 
and I almost, almost rolled it. Two wheels. Ooh. Oh my. Okay, we flew over him. Right, take that corner awfully, that's fine. Get back on track. Right, we've got some catching up to do. Man, these events are hard with the Formula Off-Road vehicles. They are absolutely solid. Bruh, I just, I can't anticipate when they're gonna break. Like, I know it's coming up to the corner, but <laughs> I just slammed their brakes on. Some big air time. So he's sending it. Man, I always get worried on those kinds of corners. I feel like I'm just gonna throw myself off. And across the line. Done and done. So come on, Bruno. I want to hear you say it. Let's put it out here. Are you going to take on this person? What will make you bite? James, look, I've not been watching the races. I already told you that. I, I just got better things to do. But it's really simple, right? I mean, if, if you do well in the showdown, you're going to grab everyone's attention. Okay, is that clear enough for you? I think so. So if I understand this correctly, if this person performs well enough, you'll think about finally taking them on. If they perform well, yes, they get the chance to take me on. That's a very important distinction. Okay. And I, and I would appreciate if you if you would, you know, get your thinking straight. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bruno, you, <laughs> you got to chill out sometimes. You don't have to be... Chill out, man. What are, what are you talking about? Look... I don't think you understand that I take what I do very, very seriously, okay? Mm -hmm. I take my undefeated career seriously. I take my uh, my uh, Dirt Moto Series legacy yeah. seriously. You have a very strong dirt bike rider uh, legacy. You gonna interrupt me again? Go ahead. Okay, look, just be clear that this isn't just a hobby. I've worked very hard. I've worked to get to the top, and you're talking about some upstart, maybe hypothetically showing me up. I mean, you're dreaming if you think I'm ever gonna let that happen. I work too damn hard. Well, let's see how they get on at the main event, and we'll take it from there and bruno no danger we all love you we all love to watch you race just show the respect man all right man and there's no doubt you have done amazing things for this sport you've opened it up to a lot of new people but we want to see you face a challenge now man. there's no challenge out there especially not this rookie that everybody you know gets excited about it's no challenge they gotta pay their dues everybody needs to pay their dues in whatever you do i've paid mine i paid mine and i continue to pay mine this is my life this is everything to me and that's why I keep telling you, bring it on. Let them bring it on. All right, well, we'll see how the rookie performs in this next event, and hopefully they will bring it on. You've got to give Bruno credit. He's obviously worked his way up. He's uh, now the quote-unquote best driver, but not for long. Once we do this main event, we'll obviously show that we are more than capable of taking him on. And then in the final chapter, which is coming up next, chapter five, that will hopefully be the time we'll get to challenge him, which should be uh, very interesting. So yeah, let's jump straight into this ultra cross. Okay, main event, it is time. What, what options have we got? got? Plenty of Aston Martins in here. Beamers. We got a Mustang though. Is there a Mustang? Don't see one. Porsche up front. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that person just completely crashed. Come on, get us up in front. So we've already done this course before, but we're just doing it in reverse. I can recognise that bit there. Ooh. Oh no, oh no. I forget this is rear wheel drive. Lost all grip on that corner. That's fine though. Should get the air time off this. Yep. Yeah. Right, go away Porsche. Man, you have no idea how much I just sweat on that lap. Oh man. 52 second lap that's got to be decent right so we absolutely threw this lap i think we're down by like two seconds overall we're still in first thankfully and it's gonna go around this corner and we are done okay so this should be chapter four completed so you know when duran said oh well may i suppose maybe i'll watch the race and maybe i'll notice them if they do any good or something like that <laughs> Yeah, you got his attention in a big way. 
You just lay down the gauntlet, I'm telling you, he is gonna respond. He has to. Then you can shut this guy down. Oh, that's the plan, AJ. Don't you worry. That is the plan. What are we gonna use? So we're gonna give the VW Badger Beetle go. We haven't driven this yet, so why not? Very funky design on it as well. Oh, but you know what? I kind of like it in just yellow. So the one thing I did notice, oh, we've actually got a sprint race as well for once. Okay, we haven't had one of these for a while, feels like anyway. Um, the one thing I did notice with the different paths in the game is a lot of the pathfinders and the gym carners are on the bottom path. So unfortunately we have missed quite a few of them, which is upsetting because we've done a lot of ultra cross rally raid events and stuff like that. So if you guys are picking your paths, I'd probably recommend doing the bottom path in all honesty. That way you'll kind of get a good mix for everything. But at the same time, I didn't see a lot of icebreakers on the bottom path. So if you're not too worried about that, then crack on. Straight away as well, this, uh, this Beetle, very, very nice to drive. Wonder if I have any big jumps. Uh, a small one, okay, we've got a couple of split paths. Should have definitely taken the other route. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, everyone's caught back up. Yeah, I should have taken the other route. That's the second. Shunted. Man, we've got some uh, twisty turns coming up. Make sure we stay in first. Okay, we are only just in first. AI is really keeping up with us. Thank you for doing that lovely drift tap, my guy. I appreciate it. Completely thrown that corner. Oh no. Oh, there's a tree. Hello. Right. Goodbye, tree. Whoa, okay, that was a bit trippy. Oh, that threw me off way too much. Man, them colours. <laughs> that, that was uh, that was a pretty nice sight to see, but at the same time I did I didn't expect to be like thrown off that much then. Hammering it through that straight. Definitely go a lot quicker. Right, we should be on road to finish this, hopefully. Yeah, it should just be up here. Little jump to end it. And across the line. Three minutes total. Slamming into the end. Bit annoying, I was hoping to get a few more icebreakers and stampede events and stuff in, but unfortunately for the end of this, we've just got ultra crosses pretty much. All right, it's good to see a new track. Very happy to see a new track. Oh man, look at the speed. Oh, wait, is that guy? I didn't even realize that guy was sideways then. I'm sorry, Franklin. All right, mind out, everyone. Oh, <laughs> absolutely just, I don't even know what happened there. I kind of flew over everyone. Well, I can see a jump coming up as well. I'm pretty sure I remember doing this event back in like Dirt 3. Uh, am I correct in thinking that? That we've done this track before? I do I do remember it from a previous Dirt game. Got to get into first for our final objective, but that is the plan anyway. Oh no. 
Right, making some progress onto first place. Come on. We should be able to get him through this section here. Right, we've finally done it. That was the third attempt that I had on this course. Um, I managed to mess up at the very end on both the other attempts, which is <laughs> which is great. I kept like tapping the wall or something stupid. We have some breaking news here on the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media, and not breaking news as in some sort of new brake pad that helps you stop in the rain, but news that is hot off of that panini press after the conclusion of the showdown this weekend we got bruno durant on the old dog and bone that's that's british for phone bruno good showing from that rookie huh man uh caught my attention yep uh do you have an announcement to make uh sure throwing down the gauntlet main event 1v1 yeah so uh i guess it's safe to say that you were impressed no not really just want this conversation over aj's little experiment will get their race day and they'll be gone the next day wow. okay dude wow that is an epic call out another first for this podcast there's a lot on the line here bruno i mean maybe there's more on the line for you maybe you have a little bit more to lose maybe some pride he's got that belt yeah wrong again james uh uh, there's only one possible outcome at this main event. It's just me trashing AJ's big shot. Okay, actually, I'm not a math boy, but I think there are technically two possible outcomes. I, I, I think he hung up. How long ago? Before he had your cool math boy line. Dang, dude. All right, well, you heard it here first. The spiritual sequel to AJ versus Durant coming your way. This is going to be wild. Right, is going to be wild. So we're going to do this event here and then we'll end it on either the ultra cross or another rally raid and then we will go into the final part afterwards man it's it's been a good playthrough so far you know I, i've really been enjoying this game i really have Right, we've got three drifts and two overtakes. Well, overtakes done. Nice and simple. It's got the drifts to do. Oh man, big old tunnel. Oh, I'm going too quick. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> See, if this was in a normal race online, I wouldn't do that. Don't you worry. It's only AI. It's when someone hits me in the comments saying AI have feelings too. All right. Oh, that lightning, though. Oh, man. Oh. Hairpin. Right. All the objectives are done. Lovely stuff. So much going on. Got lightning going off all over the place. You got a storm going on. Everything is going down. Man, I'm on edge. This is so, this track is like so quick and narrow. Ha. Oh. And there we go. I see the finish. Oh, man. That was fast. Probably one of my favorite sprint races we've done, to be honest. It's time to take stock. Look at how far you've gotten since you joined. You go on, you take a second. You think about those wins. Think about those times that you won against the odds. The ones that didn't go your way and how you never stayed down for long. That's the attitude people want to see. That's what inspires your fans. Because you do all of it without any of the nonsense. So just keep that going, okay? Head down, work hard, be yourself. So we've got two different classes. We've got Classic Rally and Rally Cross. I think I'm going to go with the Megan RS. Tempted to buy another vehicle, you know, as we've got so much money. Why not? So we already know this course. We've got it in the snow now though. So a lesser go. Man, it literally was like a couple of days ago that I did this course for the first time. 
and here we are. We've made so much progress. So as for a review on this game, um, I'll probably leave it till the end of the actual playthrough itself. So once I've completed the final chapter, final showdown race, I shall let you guys know my overall thoughts of the game. I'm sure many of you are aware that it'll be fairly positive though. I have really been enjoying this so far. And yeah, it's been a, been a great experience overall. Man, we've got the Northern Lights back again. Look at it. Man, what an experience that is. I'd love, to, I'd love to view that one day. If any of you live in Norway, let me know. That is incredible. Okay, second place is really trying to really trying to take my pole position. It's not happening. Hopefully. Just don't mess up the last corner and we should be good. Okay, we're fine. Oh. Alright, you dirt heads. I'm James Pumphrey, as always, joined by my co-host Nolan Sykes. What's and today up? we are talking motorsport, but we are laser focused on a dude named Bruno Durant, you ever heard of him, at the main event. You know what it is. It is the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media. Nolan, tell me one thing. Yes, Are you hyped? You know it, dude. How can you not be? Let's just recap, okay, James? Once upon a time, our dude AJ was going about his business, winning all them races. Like he does. And generally being a full superstar 24-7. Ooh, I'm getting chills, Nolan. Tell me more. Then, after basically completing, quote, the Dirt Moto series, Bruno Duran, he comes along and he raises a skill level to heights we've never seen before in this series, dude. I've been watching for a long time, never seen anyone like this, okay? Bruno's racking up win after win after win until there was no option but to take on our boy AJ himself. I'm getting PTSD right now, Nolan. Um, we all know how that turned out. Yeah, AJ, he comes away with his only main event loss of his career. Long story short, he he retires a couple of days later on this very show, may I add. But fortunately, and we knew this, that's not the end of the story. That is not the end of the story. In the background, in secret, he'd been working on a little project, a little covert operation, a little smelly skunk works, if yeah, you will. Just in the shadows, like some sort of smart goblin or ghoul coming up with some sort of concoction to release on the world. Yeah, that's right. He was training somebody, someone who had those gut instincts, that raw driving talent to be a Durand destroyer. Someone that we have previously on this show referred to as Rookie? Yeah, I apologize for that, but they proved their worth, okay? And we've created a monster event that not even Bruno Durand can run away from. An event that will go down in history as really, really super massive. You are almost poetic with your word choices. Thank you. Hand reared by AJ and ready to take on that undefeated accolade off Bruno and level the competition. That is a tale as old as time, one for the history books. And if you ask me, this one is gonna go down to the wire. <sighs> well, Bruno doesn't think so, man. He said at the press event, I quote, <clears throat> The chances of me losing are the same as James Pumphrey winning the same race. <laughs> you sound exactly you like him, that evil laugh. He does that. That's that evil laugh that he does. But I just want to point out, like, Bruno, bro, what did I ever do to you? I mean, you instigate every rivalry he's ever had, so okay. that, that, that might have something to do with it. That's a fair point, but every sport needs someone to keep it going. Uh, regardless, Bruno, unless I get a formal apology in public, you're no longer welcome on this show. <sighs> 
I don't know if you uh, have the uh, <laughs> qualifications to do that. You're right. I have zero decision-making abilities here. I am just saying that to stir the pot, because oh, that's what I do. Stirring that pot. So by the sounds of it, we have a quote-unquote monster event coming up at the very end of this uh, chapter. And in that case, I shall see you in the next part.